Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Rad Tarot. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well uh, Pisces Rising Weekly General Tarot Reading, October uh, 18th up until October 24th, uh, 2021. And uh, should you be interested, guys, in a personal reading with me, or if you do want to take my tarot classes, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website where you can view and purchase either or both of these services and as well if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and uh, you do wish to support us just leave a like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads. So with that being said moving straight away to the Pisces reading and the very first card that you do Pisces have that will be the Knight of Wands. Can you see the card? Yeah all right so Knight of Wands. Followed by the second one here, which stands as the Page of Swords. The third card for you, uh, that is going to be the Four of Wands. Followed by the fifth card, uh, which stands as uh, the Nine of Wands. And uh, the last card for you, Pisces, that will be the Five of Swords. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So this is going to, uh, this is quite of a, I don't want to say confusing. Uh, it, it's a reading that can that can go either way okay it could go into every possible direction and all comes to that how the very first two cards plays out which are people that for some reason you will have to interact with when i go to the uh, scrutinizing the reading i'm going to draw one additional card for each one of these two people just to see how they interact with your environment but whichever way they play out uh, you will be able to uh, get the hang of something that will happen to be a, a closure of important cycle of development for you. So something you are hoping to accomplish, which is going to be just a portion of an accomplishment or, or, or of an a achievement, but nonetheless a, a milestone, is to take place throughout the week. And uh, from there, uh, it will all come to how you are to chase the whole endeavor uh, and uh, starting up the uh, the week here with the knight of wands the catalyst to them it is the five of wands <laughs> right so we do have a active supporters into that position and uh, this will be uh, this person is just uh, it serves one surprise after another and it's just a person that you don't know in any given moment what they are to do, how they are to react and what they can bring on the plate for you that is. These people, they are very enterprising individuals, individuals that are following their interest all, all the time. The thing it is that their interest here with the five of wands, it kind of changes, okay? Today, they have interest into this thing. Tomorrow, sudden uh, a round turn, sudden, sudden roundabout in their interest and they completely change direction into something else. So that is a person that you can definitely cannot count on at all. But uh, through them or making use of their changing interest, um, you can actually reverse something into your environment that is to happen to be a, a not just only a breakthrough, but as well kind of like from failure to success. And now the first thing that comes to my mind, it is that that could be a competitor of yours that suddenly changes interest, in, interest into something else and, and the um, competition simply falls apart you have no competitor competitor whatsoever and you you can get to claim your price for that you have been consistent and they haven't been a consistent uh, another thing that this person can play out for you is somebody that kind of like helps you with something and while they are very good at making things work out they are very good at uh, at against us uh, um stacked odds you know so they can pretty much make the uh, impossible possible or to make a impossible triumph into a real triumph again you can't really rely on them for a very long run it is because right now they have an interest of helping you tomorrow they may not and they believe me with those cards 
that person is not obliged to a human interaction. They don't care if you are going to feel bad about it. They don't care if they have promised anything. They only care about their own personal enthusiasm and their own personal drive. The other person that shows up right after that, it is the Page of Swords and it is catalyzed with the Five of Cups. Now, this one is a little bit more interesting. So we do have a active neutrals here, and that is a person who is very resilient to disappointment. They always tend to look at the things from the bright side, and they, how can I say, they always kind of like tend themselves to uh, be uh, to attending to the to the to the positive side of the nature. For example, if they have been uh, fired from work, they are going to look at it from a way that, you know, they couldn't grow into this job. So now they have a reason to find a better one. OK, and uh, what this person also may play out in your environment is an unexpected help as well, because that is something that Page of Swords sometimes manifests through. And that is due to their original thought. It is their thought that nobody else shares. And they have their own reason to lay you a hand in one way or another. But the reason it is unfathomable for you and for those around you. So it will feel a little bit awkward here. And uh, this, uh, this person could have been disappointed in you that you have chose one thing over another, that you have decided in one thing over another and so on and so forth, or you did something that they disapprove. But again, they are very resilient to disappointment. And no matter what you do, if they are um, not consistent, but how can I say, a, a determined to share their path with you either romantically or either a, a, a friendship wise or maybe business wise as well. Uh, I don't know what you can do to banish them away. It's, it's just, again, that resilience is remarkable. And uh, also the versatility they have to chase one path and another as well. It's uh, it's a big one. So, uh, for example, they may approach you for a, rom for a romance. You may not be a, you may not agree to it. OK, that may not be your person, but they are going to also be OK with just a friendship that is going to serve you a great deal of benefit as well. So it's not somebody that you can hurt very easily and they are open for any version whatsoever. And uh, right after that, the four of wands takes place. And so this is very curious how it's going to play out. Um, because the four of one speaks that towards the middle of the week, you're pretty much going to have a lot of things uh, wrapped around. So you will be able to reach certain milestones, get certain jobs done. OK, and, and these two people are going to have a finger into it. Uh, one, probably because the competition is going to drop off. Uh, the other is because an unexpected help is going to come about your way. But simply some accomplishments that you're striving for are going to be um, executed towards the middle of the week. And the thing is with the four of wands, uh, not just only that you will have a reason to celebrate, uh, the four of wands associate yourself with a, a really long slog. It is kind of like you have trying to develop that thing for a very, very long time and it was a, you a consistent you had the eye for the importance out there what i mean is that you had the eye for the important details into the endeavor and finally after that long slog the whole thing finalizes and happens to be in a finalization of important cycle of development and this is where you have to understand that that is just a milestone it is not the grand achievement you have so much more to accomplish, so much more to give, even still. And so why would it be a good thing to spend the middle of the week celebrating, you know, your accomplishment, your victory, your achievement? You also got to think about, you know, what you can bring to the plate or to the table from now on moving forward, because make no mistake here, Pisces, the game have just upped into a one level. So you got to bring not your A, but your S game here uh, into the endeavor moving forward. And uh, right after that, the nine of wands uh, comes up. 
and that is a, a very good uh, good card as a follow up as a follow up because into this S game it seems with the four of wands with the uh, nine of wands I'm sorry that you do have the necessary expertise and the necessary experience into the endeavor itself so you can make those a uh, conscious changes that will make you fit aligned in synchrony with what is going on around now here the nine of wands and i don't have the deck um here at my disposal uh but nine of wands it's a very uh, positive card when it comes to connecting okay because uh, for example into the thought tarot which is the other um creed of tarot the nine of wands is described by the bridge in between the sun and the moon and that is the bridge in between two souls okay and simply if you are looking for somebody to date with okay or if you're looking for somebody to just hang out with and so on and so forth towards the late stages of the week you are likely to find such a person that there is going to be a passion in between you two this isn't just going to be a a, a flat kind of like interaction there is definitely there going to be an interest uh, but uh, towards the late stages of the week whatever you can do to make your work easier to make your life easier into your career and into your relationship is um, is desirable for you to do those changes that you can exert yourself and you don't have to rely on anybody else nor you have to rely on the fate itself and at the end here of the week the five of swords plays out for you and that is the moment where you are fully prepared and um, fully accustomed fully accustomed to face the future in term of your career and in term of your relationship here it is where you do have the resources okay and uh, this is what i said that it will depend on you how you play out the whole thing of what result you're gonna have at the end because the five of swords is the card that says victory there is no doubt about it but you have the choice to make it a a, a real victory or a bitter victory okay and so how you do make it a real victory well there are a few conditions with the five of swords a uh, five of swords stands uh, by the parable that there is no shame into running for there are for there is no honor in death there is simply no honor in debt and therefore here you have to take the battles that you are 100% certain that you can win or the uh, situations that you are 100% certain that you can get the upper hand into them I, and how this is possible by uh, being very aware of how far your limits stretch and what you are capable of at that given moment if you do though push very hard no matter the cost you are going to get uh, what you are after nonetheless, but on a cost of humiliation, on a cost of betrayal, on a cost of losing friends, on a cost of a following wrong people's advice. So uh, with that being said, Pisces, uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. It does look like that at the end of the week, you do have a lot to think about for how you are to approach your future. I hope you do make the right choices there and uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.